Hey, what's up everybody? David here and this is another product review. And in this particular review, we're going to take a look at the November 2015 13th Age Monthly 8-page uh, PDF by Lynn Hardy and it is called The Waking Stones. Now, 13th Age has a monthly subscription service and it gives you a PDF at the end of every month. The price is $24.95. It started in January 2015 and every time you have a year subscription go by to renew it, uh, well this year it happened, they give you a $5 coupon and hopefully that will continue uh, for the you know long time subscribers with that $5 discount. So uh, expect that. If you missed the first year you can also buy the entire 12 PDF series for uh, $24.95. And if you don't want to have all of the PDFs or the you know yearly fee, then you can buy each one individually at $2.95 if that's what you prefer. So, all right, the Waking Stones. Uh, this is a really nice PDF. You can see on the on the cover, it has a earthen stone people. They are called the Terranar. And these Terranar, or Stone Peoples, they're called, they lie dormant th all throughout all of the different ages. And they usually only awaken once per age and on very special occasions. And these Terranar, they can, you know, basically be in many different forms. They can, uh, usually they're the big monoliths, something like you would see. Uh, at like uh, for example Stonehenge maybe these stones are you know these are the Terranar and sometimes you know like I said once an age they usually do come to life and uh, as you can see the PDF is professionally uh, put together it looks like all of the other content that 13th age produces uh, the first section is the old stone truth was basically all of lore uh, pertaining to the Terranar, and you know they're not usually called Terranar because you know they are a uh, a slumbering uh, humanoid stone humanoid. So a lot of people don't know about you know the Terranar, uh, but when they you know when they do uh, usually once per age or so uh, they do present themselves and it's uh, usually for some big event so all right now if you need some ideas on how to put these stone people or Terran R into your campaign or into your adventure the PDF gives you quite a few options and uh, this is a good thing about the PDF it it touches base on everything it just doesn't give you lore it gives you a lot of uh, campaign options we're gonna take a look at the stat box stat blocks that it gives and a bunch of optional uh, features and rewards and all that other stuff so alright so the displaced is one of the campaign options dereliction of duty vessels fully charged hibernation druidic allies bearing the hatchet you can see you know the art is uh, is beautiful art very nicely done and here's another one of these uh, mon one of the monoliths has come to life and a Terranar has uh, presented himself now here you know much like a lot of the other PDFs uh, the you know these PDFs give you a lot of information about the topics usually it gives you creatures tie-ins with all of the different 13 icons you know all kinds of lore sometimes a lot of arts is in every PDF so you know just like this PDF is just like all the others I mean it's just really well put together now here are the stat box stat blocks for the Terranar and it gives you some special abilities which is a uh, all rock lightning flare and thick skinned and then here are some iconic powers that you can also give to the Terranar which would be related to uh, per, you know certain icons so that's a, another nice option that they, they give you now here are the stat blocks you can see they follow you know your standard 13th age stat block a lot of uh, uh, natural odd hit natural even hit uh, class features and uh, attacks and close range attacks range attacks melee attack nastier specials so you know these are pretty much the the same great stat blocks as you see in the bestiary the core book and all that stuff so alright so the uh, Terranar Hunter is a fourth level uh, spoiler the Terranar Bugler is a fifth level caster 
and you can see it has a lot of natural even hit stuff, natural odd hit, natural 18 plus, cool stuff. I love those mechanics with 13th Age, and I'm, I don't know why they haven't been done in a, a, a lot of the other games. Maybe, may, I don't know, maybe the other uh, companies would think that that would be just too much to do, but I actually really like it. And the stat blocks are super easy to read. You don't miss a whole lot of stuff. So, All right, the Terranar Corfi. I get maybe Corfi or Corfe. This is a level 3 blocker. There is a Broken Terranar which is a level 4 troop, conglomerate, level 2 mook, Terranar avalanche, I like that. It is a level 6 wrecker, more great art. I like how I like how this uh conglomerate here is just fixing to destroy you as you're looking up at it. It's, it's really <laughs> really nice. Uh last but not least, here's some adventure hooks, so if you want to uh, put these monoliths, put these Terranar into your game, it gives you six different adventure hooks. So there you go, guys. Short but sweet PDF, eight pages. You know, you get monsters, you get special abilities, you get all that, all that good stuff in eight pages. And it is the November 2015 monthly PDF from 13th Edge Monthly. So leave a comment down below. How would you guys incorporate these Terranar? or stone people into your campaign. Uh, they give you a lot of options, but uh, what are some of your ideas? So leave a comment down below. Also, like the channel, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, happy gaming, everybody.